College football's biggest weekend is approaching Saturday live on our sister network ESPN. It is the college football playoff semifinals and for the first time a Texas team is part of the playoff. ABC 13's Adam Winkler is live in the newsroom with more on TCU. Myra, Saturday when TCU takes on Michigan in the Fiesta Bowl, viewers are going to want to keep an eye out for this guy. Number four, Tay Barber. He's a Cy Springs High School product and a massive weapon for TCU. Barber has more catches in his career than any other player on the Horn Frogs roster. He's been in Fort Worth four years, so he's had to endure a pair of losing seasons and also a coaching change. But this year's dream season, it's special not only because TCU is two wins away from a national title, but yesterday, Tay's son Elijah celebrated his first birthday. In our one-on-one -on -one chat this morning, Tay talks about how his little boy has made a massive difference in his world. Yeah, and that's my wife. Uh, he's the reason I am, I am who I am today. He's helped me grow in the past year, and I just love him. And you're going to have some awesome photos and stories and, and some videos to share with him when he's old enough to yeah, understand. I can't wait. <laughs> Barber, who chose to play at TCU over scholarship offers from schools like Clemson and Oklahoma State and Stanford, has already earned his degree. We hope you listen to his advice to youngsters in our area who also have big football dreams. I just say to the young kids, stay in school, make good choices, hang around the right crowd, and just stay tuned in. You can do anything you put your mind to and just and pray for us on Saturday and watch us win. All right, so TCU's game Saturday is at 3 o'clock our time in Arizona. Tay told us that his mom was not allowed about to let that Southwest Airlines debacle mess up her trip to Arizona. So she hopped in the car this morning, said forget about the flight. She is driving from here in H-Town to Glendale, Arizona. It's about a 1,200-mile drive, going to take about 17 hours. But again, she left this morning, so she should be there in plenty of time for Saturday's 3 o'clock kickoff. She was not going to let Southwest ruin her chance of watching her baby play in the Fiesta Bowl.